with Java, the math class has a lot of trig functions already pre-programmed inside as methods. So we can take a look at some of those that they offer. So for example, if you take pi and divide by 2, that gives you a right angle or 90 degrees. So we can solve for that and we'll have to make it show up. So system dial print line and we'll say pi is also a pre-programmed math function. So math dot pi it's going to be dot pi divided by 2. And that will give us the degrees. So it won't right now because I forgot to put it within the math degrees function. So math dot 2 degrees, that's TO. And then we just have to put the parentheses around math dot pi divided by 2. And that gives us the 90 degree angle. So math dot two degrees in parentheses math dot pi to give us the three point one four the complete number divide by two. Other things we can do is find sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine as zero comes out zero. So let's show that. We'll go math dot because we're calling inside of the math class to the sine method. Sine, I'm going to make it say zero. And the answer should be 0, 0.0 because it is a double. Notice how it even tells us above it has to be a double. If I change the sine method to cosine method, it's going to go to the opposite end and return one. Very cool. If I put a tangent in a zero, let's see what happens. Comes back as zero. So those are some of the different things you could place in there from your different trigonometry functions. So we use sine, cosine, tangent. You could use also a sine, a cosine, and a tangent, which returns the actual angle of the inverse. So that will return the inverse. If we put the A in front, this should return 1. So I thought. Maybe it does not. Let me try putting some decimals on this bad boy. 0 0.32. That gives us 0 0.3. If I throw the regular tan, 0 0.33. So these are different things that you could use to help you check your work throughout your pre-calc math class as well.